The world is changing faster than most of us can imagine. What once seemed like science fiction is quietly becoming reality. And at the heart of this transformation lies an unexpected continent, Africa. Imagine a train that hovers silently above the ground, powered not by fossil fuels or a massive power grid, but by its own ability to generate energy. This is not a distant dream whispered about in science magazines. This is Africa's potential maglev revolution. The story begins with an idea so bold it challenges everything we know about modern transportation. A self-powered maglev system designed specifically for Africa's unique challenges. No sprawling national grids required. No dependence on imported coal or gas to keep it running. Instead, a system fueled by the very forces of nature that surround the continent every single day. For years, people have asked, why doesn't Africa leapfrog outdated infrastructure and go straight to the future? This could be the answer. And just as the whispers begin to take form, one name hovers over the conversation like a shadow, Elon Musk. Because when Musk looks at transportation, he doesn't see what is. He sees what could be. And the idea of Africa embracing a self-powered maglev may be exactly the type of bold innovation he cannot ignore. It is important to understand why this idea is surfacing now. The pressures of climate change are hitting Africa hard. From devastating droughts to unpredictable flooding, the continent is facing environmental challenges that demand urgent solutions. At the same time, Africa's cities are growing at a breathtaking pace. Urbanization is stretching roads, buses, and old train systems to the breaking point. People need to move faster, safer, and more sustainably. So the stage is set for something new. And in academic circles and quiet innovation labs, whispers of this maglev idea have begun. Early stage papers describe how a system could generate its own power using solar panels along the tracks, geothermal wells where available, and even kinetic energy recapture from the trains themselves. If true, this would mean a train that does not simply consume power but sustains itself. A network not dependent on fragile national grids but capable of thriving in places where electricity is scarce. The more one looks at it, the more it seems like Africa's perfect match. And it just so happens that this vision echoes some of Elon Musk's greatest obsessions. Think back to his history. Tesla, electric cars to replace gasoline. Solar City, rooftops harvesting sunlight to power homes. SpaceX, rockets built to break humanity's dependence on Earth. The Hyperloop, a futuristic transport idea that uses vacuum tubes and levitation. Every single one of these ventures shares the same DNA, radical solutions to old problems. So when analysts ask whether Musk would take an interest in Africa's self-powered maglev, the answer feels almost inevitable. Because Africa does not just need fast trains. It needs them to work in places where traditional infrastructure has failed. And that is exactly the type of challenge Musk has always thrived on. Imagine if Tesla's battery technology were integrated into a maglev network across Africa. Imagine if SolarCity's solar innovations powered not just homes, but the train system itself. Imagine if the boring company's tunneling expertise were used to create maglev lines through dense cities. The pieces are already on the table. And when you look at Africa's needs, mobility, sustainability, job creation, it feels like they were tailor-made for the kinds of tools Musk already holds. The implications of such a partnership are staggering. For one, it could transform Africa's global image overnight. No longer a continent defined by energy shortages or crumbling railways, but a leader in futuristic, sustainable transport. It could also ignite global competition. If Africa proves that a self-powered maglev is possible, who would not want to replicate it? Europe? Asia? South America? Suddenly, Africa is no longer following, it is leading. But how exactly would this self-powered secret work? At its heart lies renewable energy. Massive stretches of solar panels built along the maglev routes would capture Africa's abundant sunlight. In geothermal hot zones like East Africa's Rift Valley, underground heat could be tapped to feed the system. Kinetic recovery technology, similar to regenerative braking in Tesla cars, could recycle energy from the train's own motion back into the system. Layered together, these sources create resilience. If one falters, another compensates. The design also leans heavily on modularity. 
Instead of needing billions up front to build a continent-wide system, it could start small. A single regional line powered by local solar arrays. If it works, the next section could be added. And then another. Soon, without the need for massive national rollouts, an entire web of maglev lines could crisscross the continent. This incremental design lowers risk and makes adoption more realistic. But the magic of the idea goes beyond trains. Because the system would not only move people and goods, it would create jobs, factories, and skills in every country it touches. Local manufacturing hubs could build parts for the trains. Technicians could be trained to maintain the system. Communities that once felt cut off could suddenly be connected to urban centers. Imagine a farmer in rural Kenya putting crops on a maglev line that delivers fresh produce to Nairobi in record time. Or a student in a remote village who can now commute daily to a top university because the train makes the impossible possible. This is not just transportation. It is empowerment. But before anyone gets too swept away, a reality check is needed. The challenges ahead are massive. First, regulation. Every African nation has its own laws, borders, and political dynamics. Building a train that crosses them all would require historic levels of cooperation. Then comes funding. A system of this scale requires enormous capital. Billions, perhaps even trillions, over time. Convincing investors to bet on something so unprecedented will not be easy. Yet history reminds us that big visions often attract big money. If Africa and innovators like Musk can frame this as the next frontier of sustainable development, investment could flow. And then comes technology itself. Maglev is not new, but maglev that powers itself is untested. The unique African environment, heat, dust, storms, will push the system to its limits. Prototypes must be tested and proven. Failures will happen, and patience will be required. But if the hurdles can be overcome, the rewards are historic. Because the economic transformation would be unlike anything seen before. Trade routes across Africa would be revolutionized. Goods could move from port cities to landlocked nations at lightning speed. Entire new markets would open overnight. Healthcare would improve as rural areas gained rapid access to urban hospitals. Cultural exchange would flourish as people traveled more freely between nations. The social impact would ripple outward, touching every layer of life. And globally, the perception of Africa would change forever. For once, Africa would not just be catching up to the rest of the world. It would be showing the world what comes next. That is the true power of this vision. Paradigm shift. From scarcity to abundance. From dependence to leadership. From the old world of fossil fuel transport to the new world of self-powered sustainability. And the question that lingers is simple. Will Elon Musk step into this frontier? Or will Africa chart this path on its own? proving to the world that innovation knows no borders. Either way, the silent revolution of Africa's maglev dream has already begun. To understand the scale of this dream, we have to imagine what it looks like on the ground. Picture a maglev line running from Lagos to Abuja in Nigeria. Today, that journey by road can take more than 10 hours, with delays, traffic, and poor infrastructure. Now imagine it reduced to under two hours, powered not by diesel, but by sunlight harvested along the tracks. This single line alone could change the way Nigeria does business. Fresh produce could arrive at markets faster, cutting waste. Medical supplies could reach hospitals without the bottlenecks of clogged highways. And millions of hours wasted in traffic could be returned to the people. Extend the vision further north. From Cairo to Khartoum, a maglev line would redefine connectivity between North Africa and the heart of the continent. For centuries, these regions have been separated by deserts, borders, and political instability. But a fast, sustainable rail system could create an artery of trade and cultural exchange that bypasses centuries of limitation. Turn south and the story continues. South Africa already has a developed rail network, but much of it is outdated. A maglev running from Johannesburg to Cape Town could turn a grueling 12-hour car ride into a smooth, silent trip in just three hours. Tourism would explode as the country's cities became more interconnected. And industries would thrive as goods moved faster than ever before. 
In East Africa, the Rift Valley offers another opportunity. Here, geothermal energy lies close to the surface. Maglev tracks could be built alongside geothermal plants, drawing clean, endless energy from beneath the earth itself. This would not just be symbolic. It would demonstrate to the world that Africa is not dependent on external fossil fuels or fragile grids. It would prove that the continent can take control of its own future. And this is exactly why Elon Musk's name is being whispered in these conversations. Because he understands that bold visions require bold leaders. He has built rockets that return to Earth and land on drone ships. He has made electric cars desirable on a global scale. He has reimagined how tunnels could unclog congested cities. So why not partner with Africa to build a maglev that powers itself? The opportunity is irresistible. If Musk were to invest, it would not just be about trains. It would be about branding Africa as the new frontier of innovation. It would position Tesla, SpaceX, and the Boring Company as partners in rewriting the narrative of global transportation. And for Africa, the benefits would extend far beyond speed and efficiency. Young engineers would be trained in cutting-edge technologies. Local industries would spring up to support the system. Universities would become centers of maglev research. And governments would find themselves forced to collaborate on something bigger than borders. The symbolism alone is powerful. A continent often portrayed as divided could be bound together by tracks that do not just carry people but carry hope. And in that hope lies a vision that extends far beyond Africa. Because if a self-powered maglev can thrive in Africa's most challenging environments, then it can thrive anywhere. The deserts of the Middle East, the frozen landscapes of Siberia, the vast distances of South America. The blueprint begins in Africa but ends with a global shift. That is why this idea is so compelling. Because it is not just a train. It is proof that humanity can move faster, cleaner, and smarter without waiting for outdated systems to catch up. And that makes the possibility of Elon Musk stepping into this frontier not just likely, but perhaps inevitable.